Hello, my name is Niall Murphy and today I'm going to bring you through a short overview of Service Cloud Lightning. We're going to start the journey as a customer, Lauren Boyle, for a fictitious company, Cirrus Energy. So Lauren is a long-time customer of Cirrus Energy and she's looking for shipping information to return a damaged wind turbine. So she Googles uh, Cirrus Energy and she finds her way to their self-service community site. The Cirrus community makes it easy for customers like Lauren to quickly find answers to their own questions, engage in discussions with other community members, and if she's unable to find the help that she needs, she can contact support directly, all from this unified experience. And with Salesforce Lightning, the experience is fast and easy to get up and running. Easily build and brand and deploy this self-service portal with templates that you can set up in clicks, drag and drop, any components to customize and even embed business process inside this experience. And the same community is responsive and available on any device, whether it's desktop or mobile like we're looking at here. Lauren is looking for international shipping information, so she clicks onto the regions topic here um, to get more information on that area. And she can see that there's an article here around international shipping, which she's able to open up and review the content. Okay, one of the interesting areas here is that she's also able to see related articles. So this is one of the areas where we're taking advantage of data science and artificial intelligence to guide users through their experience. So we know from all the other visitors to this uh, community site that people that have looked at that article about international shipping are also interested in product warranty and repair. And actually, you know, that's exactly why uh, Lauren is here today. So she's going to click on that top article and open up the information about product warranty and repair. So she wants to confirm uh, whether her uh, um, turbine is still in warranty. Here she could ask a question and get an answer from her fellow community members on where to find warranty information, or she could contact support directly. In this case, uh, Lauren's in a little bit of a hurry, so she's going to go ahead and contact support directly. Okay, so she's going to select um, the product category, fill in some details. and then go ahead and click on next. Um, when she does that, before her case gets submitted, she's prompted for um, uh, one last check of the knowledge articles. And this is done intelligently using the information that she's uh, filled in on the previous form. So we're trying to um, make a last attempt to deflect the case, but if nothing here matches the requirement, we'll go ahead and submit and that will get um, submitted straight into Service Cloud and Lauren has a view of what's going on here at her side within the community as well in terms of the case record. And of course, you can control what information that Lauren has access to here in terms of the case record. We're now going to switch gears and I've logged in as Stephen Service into the Ser Lightning Service Cloud Console. So the Lightning Service Console has been built with from the... Uh, We're now going to switch gears and I've logged in as Steven Service in our internal application. I'm in the Lightning Service Console, which has been built from the ground up to optimize the experience for service agents and how they um, handle and manage cases. So Steven starts his day here on the All Cases view and he can see all the cases that are coming in from all the various different channels that his company supports. He's going to take a look at this using the Kanban view, and now he can see you know, different types of cases, what the queue looks like, where the cases are at in those queues, and he can easily make updates um, to the cases directly here. Um, he's just been working on this one, so he's able to update the status directly on the Kanban view. Salesforce supports omnichannel, and when Stephen updates um, his status here. 
we can see that a number of cases become available for him here. So the latest case here is the one that we're interested in that uh, Lauren just submitted on the community. So I'm going to click to accept this case. And I'll close down the rest of that omni-channel for a moment. So now we can see all the details re referencing that case. So we can see the information around the case here, the contact details, if there's parent cases associated with this. We've got the case feed in the center of the screen here, so we can see the communication that's already gone out to Lauren. On the right-hand side of the screen, we've got our milestones. So um, I'm going to mark this as completed because we've just gotten back to uh, Lauren. Our next milestone is that we need to propose a solution. New in the winter release is the Community360 capability which allows us to understand Lauren's journey on the community so we can see what articles she's already looked at, what cases she's created. Um, and this allows us to be much more intelligent about how we respond to our question. For example, we wouldn't send her a knowledge article that she's already looked at. We can be more nuanced in how we, we respond to her and provide a better experience. Having knowledge embedded directly into, into the console makes it easy to respond to customer queries. So I can see um, I've got some questions here that I need to ask when it comes to repairs. So I'm going to copy these. And then if I come to the email publisher, I can see that there's a template already prepared for me. I'm going to pop in those questions, send them to the customer. So we can see now the full history of the interactions against this case. Stephen is all into productivity, so he's going to take advantage of macros here to update the last few pieces of information on the case and close out um, this particular case. So here we can see the macro was applied and the case was saved. Finally, we're going to take a look at how the support manager can stay on top of the operation of the, of the team and the contact center and see how everything is performing. Within Lightning Service Console, we get beautiful dashboards that allow us to get insights into what's going on. I'm going to take a, look, a closer look at the case, uh, case assigned by status. Here I can see that the um, workload of my team is quite high. They've taken on quite a lot of cases and they don't seem to be moving through the system. I'm able to collaborate directly with the team and share this update with them. I'm going to do this using Chatter. I'm going to share uh, an update with the team. Please try and reduce backlog. Thanks. Post. OK, and that will appear directly in my team members uh, feed. The next thing as a manager is I want to take advantage of the uh, Omni Supervisor dashboard. So different to the, the um, dashboards that we're looking at here, this is more a real-time operational view of the, the contact center. I noticed on the last um, dashboard that we looked at that uh, Linda had the highest volume of cases. And so I want to dig deeper using the Omni Channel Supervisor here. This allows me to see um, what queue my agents are logged into, how long they've been in that status, the length of time since they last accepted a case, and their capacity to accept more work. This really empowers me as the supervisor to take action when needed, change the working status of an agent, or reassign them to different queues. As the service manager, it's easy for me to make changes to the way Service Cloud Lightning behaves for my organization. There's a dedicated area inside and setup that not only allows me to configure Service Cloud Lightning with clicks, it also makes recommendations and provides guided support. So here along the right hand side, I can see recommendations for things that I should set up in my um, service environment. I can see a summary of today's performance and then I've also got guided paths to set up common features, like email setup, for example. And it will take me through the steps to get those tools enabled. Okay?
I hope you found this overview useful. If you do require any further information, just go to salesforce.com service cloud and you'll find a lot more detailed information, more demos, white papers, product information, customer stories, and so on. Thanks.